Welcome. Today, we'll be going through question four from the International Mass Olympiad, 1970. Find the set of all positive integers n with the property that the set n, n plus 1, n plus 2, n plus 3, n plus 4, n plus 5 can be partitioned into two sets such that the product of the numbers in one set equals the product of the numbers in the other set. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. What properties must the set have to be able to be partitioned in such a way? How about the product of the numbers of the set? What's special about that? Hint number two. How many multiples of seven can there be in the set? Both theoretically and so that we satisfy the conditions of the problem. Hint number three. The product of the numbers in the set must be a square. Why is this? Solution. We will prove by contradiction that no such n exists. In the set n, n plus 1, n plus 2, n plus 3, n plus 4, n plus 5, at most one of the integers can be a multiple of 7, because we get a multiple of 7 every 7 integers, and here we have 6 consecutive integers. Now if the set does contain a multiple of 7, then exactly one subset will be a multiple of 7, because 7 is prime, so one subset will be a multiple of 7, one subset won't be a multiple of 7, and so the subsets cannot have an equal product. Hence, we don't have a multiple of 7 in the set, and the numbers are of the form 7k plus 1, 7k plus 2, 7k plus 3, 7k plus 4, 7k plus 5, 7k plus 6, in some order. n is not necessarily 7k plus 1. The product of the numbers of the set must be a square. This is because if we can partition the set into two subsets where the numbers are of equal product, say x, then the product of the numbers of the whole set is x squared and x squared is a square. In modulo 7, the product of the numbers in our set is the constant of the polynomial 7k plus 1, 7 7K, multiply by 7k plus 2, multiply by 7k plus 3, multiply by 7k plus 4, and so on, which is 1 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 4, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 6, which is 6 factorial, or 720, or minus 1. However, if we look at the remainders when x squared is divided by 7, we get 0, 1, 2, and 4. So because minus 1 is not 0, it's not 1, it's not 2, and it's not 4, the product of the numbers cannot be a square. Hence we get a contradiction, and so no such n exists. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below and see you next time. Goodbye.